Hello everyone. Now we will start with our next modularization technique that is function modules. Now in the previous videos, we already finished with the modularization technique include programs. Now it's a turn for the function modules. After covering this modularization technique, we will compare both the modularization technique. We will compare the include programs with the function modules. Now, what is function module? Yes, it is a modularization technique. We will divide our program code into small parts or small units with the help of function module. Now, whenever we want to create a function module, we have a dedicated tool available. We have a dedicated transaction code available and that transaction code is SC37. Whenever we want to create a function module, we will go for transaction code SC37. We have a separate, we have a dedicated workbench tool available. We have a dedicated transaction code available and that transaction code is SC37. Now, whenever we want to create a function module, the first thing we need to create a function group. So you cannot blindly create a function module Whenever you want to create a function module, the first thing we should always, always create a function group. Now the question comes, what is function group? Word itself is saying group. So function group is a container for the function module. You will always, always store your function module into function group. So function group is a container for the function module and that transaction code to create a function group is SC80. We all know SC80 is the transaction code for object navigator. With the help of SC80 only, we will create function group. Now, in a function group, you can maximum, maximum store up to 99 function module. So we can store maximum up to 99 function module into a function group. Once the practical will start, you will automatically understand that in a function group, we can go for maximum up to 99 function module. So what we studied so far into this video, we studied that function module is a modularization technique. We have a transaction code SC37. Whenever we want to create a function module, the first thing we need to create a function group. Function group is a container for the function module. The transaction code for the function group is SC80 and we can store up to 99 function module into a function group. Now, what we will do, we will take a requirement and for that particular requirement, we will create a function module. And same to same, we start with very, very easy program. What is our requirement? We will create a function module for the sum of two numbers. In the previous videos, we created a program for the sum of two numbers. Now we will create a function module for the sum of two numbers and we will use in the various programs because we already covered modularization technique. This function module is also reusable. So we will create a function module for the sum of two number and we will use in the various programs. So we will start with this basic, basic requirement. Now I cannot 
blindly create a function module, the first thing we need to create a function group. So we'll start with creation of function group. So I will go to SC80 transaction code. We all know SC80 is the transaction code to create a function group. Anyways, it is for object navigator. From the drop down, please choose function group. As of now, it is available. Give some name to the function group. We all know the first word is always, first letter is always Z or Y. Suppose I will say ZFG. FG, suppose I'm saying it is function group and I will give some serial number, suppose. I'm pressing enter. Whenever you will press enter, system will give you this kind of pop-up. Do you want to create this function group? Yes, I want to create this function group. I will go for yes. I will provide the short description. Suppose I'm saying function group. I will go for save. Suppose I will save it as a local object. Now this is the function group. Now never, never forget to activate the function group. This is the common mistake from so many people. Yes, they forgot to activate the function group. And ultimately, whenever you will create function module, you will get a syntax error at that point of time. So never, never forget to activate the function group. So how to activate? I'll simply put a right click and I will activate. I'm activating the function group. When I created the function group, have you seen we have a include present? And we have two includes. We have two includes. One is top include. And you can see one include is UXX. UXX. Anyways, once the practical will start, you will get more clarity. But at this point of time, I'll just come on to the point. I told you in a function group, we can store up to 99 function module. Whenever we will start creating the function module, this XX, this XX will be replaced. This XX will be replaced from 0, 1 to 99. Whenever we will start with the practical of function module, it will give you more, more clarity at that point of time. Whenever we will create first function module, it will go into U01. Whenever we will create second function module, it will go into U02. Whenever we will create third function module, it will go into U03. And whenever we'll go for till 99th function module, so the number will varies from 01 to 99. That's why we are saying in a function group, you can store up to 99 function module. As of now, there's no function module. So nothing is visible to us. Once we start the practical, it will give you more, more clarity. Now we have a top include here, top include. Whatever, whatever we will write here in the top include, it will be accessible throughout the function module. Suppose you have 10 function module. So whatever you will write in the top include, it will be accessible by all the 10 function module. Or you can understand in a way, this is a global part of the function group. This is a global part which is accessible by all the function module which are available in that function group. Most, most important part, anyone can ask you that whenever you are creating function group, what are the two includes already present there? The answer is one is top include, whatever you are writing in the top include, that is a global part of this function group. 
that is the global part of this function group whatever we will write in the top include it will be accessible by all the function modules of that function group itself now the second include is all about the function modules whenever we will create function modules it will be available in this particular include and number will varies once we start you will automatically see u01 u02 up to u99 so what is the summary of the video we studied so many important points in this video we started with function module function module is a modularization technique the transaction code to create a function module is sc37 whenever you want to create a function module the first thing you should always always create a function group what is function group function group is a container for the function module in a function group you can store up to maximum 99 function module the transaction code to create a function group is scap and we created one function group through scap transaction code never never forget to activate the function group whenever you are creating function group two includes are present there one include is top include top include means it is a global part of that function group whatever you will write there it will be accessible by all the function modules available in that function group and the second include is all about the function modules of that function group and varies varies from u01 to u99 once the practical will start you will automatically see that point in the next video we will start with the creation of function module so that's it in this video thank you